Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, aliens and assorted life forms who are currently in the uh, Twitch chat and watching the stream at the moment. You are currently watching Face It TV, the John Wick Invitational Grand Finals. We will be seeing the conclusion of this interesting North American uh, tournament as uh, it will be promoting the John Wick's movie, as you see behind you, that is released. It's currently in cinemas everywhere in the US um, uh, as it was released Friday night, so, uh, which is now. Friday evening, so it should be uh, should be out uh, where, wherever wherever you are. So d definitely check it out after the stream. It'll be best of three. First map being season. Second will be Mirage, and the third Cash, if needed, between these two sides. And uh, technically the two strongest sides after Cloud Nine and I by Power in the North American scene. So it is the battle for the thir third man or the third team spot in the uh, North American scene. It'll be an interesting matchup between the two. Mouse pads, slightly the favorites based on uh, your votes and your thoughts. And I think in my eyes as well, slightly, just slightly, the favorites against the, slightly, against the, uh, the uh, denial sign. But I think it's gonna be relatively open best of three. Could be two to one, might, might be a three map game. I think it's gonna be a three mapper. Yeah, gonna be a three mapper, as Mapper. Kaden says. Three mapper. Yeah. But uh, it will be starting pretty much now, actually. I was going to say very soon, but it, it's starting now with the knife round. And on season, is the knife round very important? Um, I think it's not the most important map to win the knife round on. But just for the final, it's always good to get some kind of uh, momentum going on. The psychological game by winning the knife round, deciding like what half you're going to start on. You can say, like, yeah, I'm going to be starting on the... Favorite side for, for our team, yep. whether it's C T or T, they're deciding themselves. But it's going to be the team swap. Actually, Mouse Bears winning the uh, knife round and going for the C T side. They've gone for the C T side on season now. Is there is there a, a logical reason for that? Is there a reason for deciding to play on the C T side, the technically weaker side of season? Yeah, sometimes it's the same as on Dust Two. Like you, you just have a good CT side. Uh, you can have a better CT side on those two than a T side, even though it's normal to have a better T side. So maybe something like that. Maybe they feel more confident on the CT side. Uh, it makes sense, uh, especially since Mousepad didn't ride much on the T side uh, in yesterday's matches. Perhaps they feel like if they can get a nice bit of momentum on the CT side and win maybe eight, nine rounds, then perhaps they can kind of choose and decide the flow of the game as the T-side, and, 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 and perhaps they'll be a bit more confident playing on the T-side in the uh, second half of the game. But it seems like the Terrace will be pushing towards the A-side. Tarek able to get one kill before being shot down by Fugly, and uh, his victim was Nitro, the uh, new member of the Denial team. Fugly with a second kill, taking down Hazed as the Ooh, terrorists the are rotating towards the A-side. They do have the A-side. I think it was better off if they just had waited because the CTs are going to be going towards yeah. the A-side. They know they've got no information. If, if they, they intend to do a fake like that, sending two guys to the A-bomb side, then the best thing would do to actually go for a strategy, even if they get the killers, because that is going to force the rotation getting the killers, so it's kind of weird. JDM doing an excellent job going for that like mid-push, and he actually cut off the terrorist side. The bomb is going towards the A-side. It's a big mistake here by the T's, because they could have just gone for a completely open B-side. All of the CTs are going for the rotation, but Shazam and Daps both get a kill each as they take down JDM and Cutler. They make it a three-on-one. For FNS, with not a lot of HP, the remaining player, he'll be shot down. So Mouse Man is doing the right movement. Base Nile played, they went for the rotation. Nice movement by JDM towards mid to cut off the terrorist, but he just did not land those shots. And uh, at the end of the day, that round was just won by better aim from Denial. Yeah. We talked about the long rotation time for the CTs. Might also have been one of the reasons why the Denial side decided to go back to the A-bomb side, because as soon as the two guys died on that, on that uh, A-bomb side, uh, they were actually going to be able to just get very good positions, uh, the terrorists, and lock down the rotation. So, pretty simple. Yeah, but they went the long way around as well. So yeah, they uh, did. It's actually quite low. Daps with an entry frag in towards the B, the B site here as the terrorists are going for a B split. Nobody to contest them from mid, and it is a fast rotation coming from the CTs towards the A site, but very, very long time for them to reach there. Hayes with a double kill on the CZ. Not bad as he takes down both Daps and Fugly, but will not be able to pick up any rifles and do any more damage with that. Cutler being shot from the side there as they push him through connector. Naflite taking control of upper B as uh, he goes for the bomb plant. Two CTs coming in, Tarek and JDM. They don't go, JDM doesn't have an armor buy. Tarek has got an armor buy with the CZ and they will come in from connector as uh, 
The terrorists are ready with the after plant position. But JDM actually picking up that weapon. That's a bit of a mistake from the T's. They should have shot that weapon away, made it so that the CTs weren't able to pick it up. But they push in JDM there with an entry frag. Nitro's going to be holding the Galil. He'll get the first frag, but not the second. It's a one on one. Tarek's not got a lot of HP. Not a lot of time either. Shazam with the CZ. Shazam's actually going to go. He thinks that. He uh, might have uh, gone for the defuse, but it was actually a fake. And now he pushes it, pulls him out of position. Really nicely done by uh, Shazam, actually pulling Tarek all the way out. And only with a CZ and uh, armor to survive that round. Tarek, though, saves the AK-47 for his side uh, in that second round. But Denial winning the second round. Again, 2 to nil. Yeah, the terrorist side get away with the zero AKs, and the CT side get away with one AK. Kind of interesting outcome of that round. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit weird. Uh, they're not going to go for a false spy, however. Tarek has got an AK-47, and he saved the armor as well from the round before, which is really good, so his economy is all right. Uh, they'll go with CZs. Uh, on the other hand, the terrorist economy is not too good. Shazam, saving up for that AWP, still has a CZ uh, on him, he, he won't try. He won't be buying an AK-47 here. Terrorists now going towards the A site. They do have one lurker towards the B site. Tarek holding a pretty advanced position, and he'll be able to actually take down Shazam if he sees him. Shazam sneaking into the bomb site, unaware that Tarek is right above him. He will have to check up a B sooner or later. Tarek is going to be moving towards the A site here as the terrorists are going towards the A site, and he's going to be shot by Shazam from behind. Shazam with that nice positioning. Hayes ready here with a CZ, unable to do much damage as Nitro takes him down, and that AK-47 that Tarek had was really, really important. It would have been out. It would have been very good had they gone towards the B site, or had he gone for the rotation and, and, and supported them. But a nice entry into a great positioning by Shazam uh, to go with that nice little lurking uh, role. And it was good that they sent also the guy with the CZ. So if he lurks and he dies, he's not going to give them anything. He's going to give them the CZ. So it's not much of a risk. Exactly. And the AWP with no Kevlar coming in from JDM. He is determined to go for this one. And as said in the pregame, it's going to be the triple CT push towards the middle area, yep. denying all kind of map control for the terror side at this moment. Yeah, deep, deep set smoke over towards the T part of mid, and uh, they've got complete control of mid here, but it's made both sides relatively weak, and the terrorists are taking it easy. They're keeping the CTs guessing, so the CTs don't know 100% which side they're going towards. They have Tarek here in an advanced position toward mid, so he'll be able to see if the terrorists do go for a rotation, unless they go for the long way around here, as Nafly will be trying to enter towards the site, takes down Cutler with relative ease. Shazam will be able to spot Tarek here. Will he win this one-on-one? -on -one? Double nade coming down right on top of his head. He loses quite a lot of HP, but he's still alive. Actually, he doesn't lose any HP. Tarek dodging both of those nades. Hayes unable to take down Nafly as he gets a quick double kill. Fugly with an entry frag on towards the A site. Denial so far playing relatively well here on season and uh, overpowering their opponents uh, in those uh, various uh, situations. Yeah, and they're going to go on the hunt for JDM. JDM is trying to run, but he's got to go to a very secret place to not be met by any terrorist members. T-spawn. I think they're going to figure it out. I think T-spawn is one of the first places where terrorists just naturally check. And he's in a quite a tough situation to use yeah, his off as well. It's a kind of weird position to go for, but it could work. It'll be a free AK for Shazam if he finds him, but I don't think... Ooh. Oh, he's right next to him. Oh, it's going to be after the timer. Oh, actually, he lands the shot, JD. Yeah. JD. It doesn't matter anyways if it's after the timer since he's a CT. Yeah, actually, you're right. He, does, yeah. he doesn't get that zero on the T side. They get after the timer. JDM keeping that up for his side, but they don't have enough money to go for a buy regardless. So they've got yet another round where they've got one gun and uh, four pistols. It's the same. He's going for the AWP. He lost the AK in the last second. He's going to go directly for the AWP, so we might see a AWP people here. JDM in this underground area, just waiting here. He should get the first guy, which is going to be Shazam. We're going to have the first orb battle. AWP oh. and Shazam is going to be the leading man in the charge. Nicely done by Shazam as he uh, will be able to take down JDM. It was actually pretty much the best possible coincidence. Oh, FNS gets a cheeky kill on Shazam, drops that? down that AWP. I don't know what they were doing. There were three terrorists looking at him. Daps will get the entry frag in towards the A side. Here's the CTs now coming for the retake. Should be an easy bomb plan here for Denial with the uh, CTs in a pretty tough situation. But it's interesting to know. He was in the perfect position because he had all the terrorists going towards the most expensive and most powerful weapon on the CT side. It could have been a different story had he been able to perform and uh, been able to rise to that occasion of playing the AWP against three terrorists. But Shazam getting that peak. And it's interesting to see the AWP being the first player 
leading the way with the AK 47s it, behind him. Yeah, in a kind of narrow angle. It would be more common in, in some kind of distance. But then again, it's it's for some orbers, it's very common to do that. Like the aggressive kind of orb style, JW, yeah. Kenny, you know. 90% of the Titans play style is like... They're just they're leading, leading yeah, the way. Yeah, it's like, the Kenny, go to that bomb site, get a kill, we're gonna rush after you, man, go <laughs> for it. So yeah, you ha you don't have to be that smart always, just have Kenny and it's gonna be easy. Yeah. Kenny has just carry us. Yeah. Carry us. Carry us. A lot of kills, however, for the CT side, Terra side losing four men on that eco round, which was uh, quite a lot of economic damage coming in from Mouse Spaz. It was not allowed Denial's economy to kind of build up. Uh, you know, nice little push here by FNS. We set, we talked about this at the beginning. Sometimes the CTs do go for the push towards mid from the uh, A site, uh, going towards the short part of A or A shot, and uh, uh, stealing that kill as uh, the terrorists weren't really aware of that. Ready for a B push, Cutler. Oh, a great grenade. Does quite a lot of damage on uh, pretty much almost everybody on the denial side now. They push through, they've got a minute on the clock, but they will go for the fast push. Double eight, double eight. There. And Cutler's gonna feel it. He's got eight HP though. He survives, he backs away, and he's still alive with his rifle as a quick rotation comes in from the CTs. They're prepared to defend this. It's a five on four situation with not a lot of HP on Nafly. Uh, and well, Nitro with 66. Cutler now in a nice position here to stop that push in from Connect. That target gets a double kill, taking down both Nitro and Fugly. Nafly though, trying to lead the charge, but he's not gonna be able to be successful. Daps is the reigning individual for the terrorist side here. It's a one on three situation at, with the bomb down as well. And oh, he smokes off up a beat. Throw down a flash in towards the site. And CTs have to be careful about this. They shouldn't force Daps in loads of one on one situations because it makes higher chance of him being successful. But don't worry. FNS is there to make sure that doesn't happen as he will get that frag on Daps. And the first round for Mouse Baz in this best of three to make it five to one. And important is that the CTs get away with three weapons from the first round win, which is going to make it more unlikely for them to get money screwed. Yeah. So yeah, important thing. JDM once again with the AWP going for this B underground peak. And he needs to be a bit more awake than last time. Shazam trying to look for entry kills in the middle area. That was interesting actually. CTs threw down a deep smoke, but they didn't actually go for uh, yeah. mid control. Yeah, trying to fake it, but the smoke failed. The CT smoke. Yeah. It should have been uh, more in. The T smoke is there, as we can see. Yeah, but the T smoke. You saw, you saw um, it was same looking. It wasn't deep enough. Yeah, it's the same tried to look for the vents because it was kind of blocking off some vision there, so it, it had to be a bit more deep. But wait, did you see that position? They had actually pushed the underground. So are getting ready for a push in towards the A site, and there are only two CTs. One at mid, ready for a quick rotate. JDM using that all to its full and utter capacity as he makes it three kills, JDM. Finally, that's the AWP that we'd like to see as he wins Mouse Pass that second round. Five to two, denial now with uh, not a great economy, probably having to play on an eco. Yeah, you can see that they are low, low on cash. And you see just one CZ, double deagle and the P250 on both Shazam and Daps. So they actually invest a small amount of money, but it could give a huge outcome. Oh, nice Molotov and an aid after that Nafly. He's going to die to that burning inferno as the CTs now are becoming a tad bit more dominant, a tad bit more confident with that. We didn't see a lot of kind of proactive play by the CTs so far in the game, but it's nice to see them use the Molotovs and nades to uh, their full effect. But it should be an easy anti-eco bash here uh, against uh, the denial lineup be very very difficult for them to do much and it's interesting to see that the CTs are holding some really really short angles I mean when you know they've got pistols you want to try and reduce like increase the distance between you and the players or between you and the entry point of the players so that you don't get overpowered by like two CZs firing loads of bullets at your head but they seem this seems to be working for them anyway yeah I think it's because they want to try and take the initiative of whip of when to meet the CZs if the CZs know that you're going to be caught in some passive angle on a side or something, yep. you might get a bit surprised. Yeah. But since the CTs is just charging onto the terrorist, they might have the upper advantage of knowing that in their minds they're just going to go for the attack. Yeah. 17 heads have been smashed by bullets so far in uh, the matchup. Relatively 
many upper level event shots for the uh, amount of kills that have happened. Aggressive push here by Cutler towards mid. There are three CTs. Double nade goes down, but there are no terrorists to receive that damage. And Hayes will go for that aggressive push. And this is a lot of information here for the CTs. They know pretty much nobody is on the right side of the uh, of mid. And they, if they're going towards the A side, it has to be through the underground, which is what's going on. But they might misread it and think it's a B side push for the CTs. But they're actually holding their positions here with two towards mid and uh, four CTs overall at the A side. Daps going through with an entry frag. Very nice play by him. Nitro waits until he gets fragged. And actually, that's them backing away behind, going towards mid to uh, stop them, from, stop the CTs from having the ability to flank them. Clearing back their backside as they got the information that they were there. And FNS, oh god, he sees that flash, drops the bomb, nicely done. Gets the kill. Tarek takes down Nitro as well. This is a good start by them. JDM with a frag on Shazam. It's a three on one all of a sudden. Fugly, the remaining player for Denial, as uh, they made a bit of a fop with that, trying to push into the A site. For a second, I thought he was going to go for the B-bomb side, but he decided not to. And now he's going to go into the face of JDM with the AWP. A nice counter flash coming in from him, though. Yeah, not bad by Fugby, actually forcing him to back away and uh, give him some room. He throws down the smoke. He's got one nade. Goes for that little pre-fire and forces him to back away. Throws the nade while he's back. And he knows he's exactly, exactly where he is. Picks up another nade and throws it back behind Tarek, but it won't land. Fugly now has 15 seconds left on the clock. He can uh, try and save that AK, or he can go for it and die. I wonder what choice he's going to make. I think he's going to go for it. He's going to push into the site. Easy kill for Tarek, as it's 5 to 4. Mousepad's only one round behind Denial right now. Yeah. Denial looking very good in the early stage, 5 to 0. Now struggling a bit more. I think it's because of the... I don't know, they, they haven't really had this go-to strategy in on the map yet, where they've just been like, yeah, this is mm. maybe one of our best strategies, go for this and it's going to be safe. Quite interesting, we do have three terrorists pushing towards the site here, the B site, but the bomb's going towards the A site. Perfect, finally, we do see a fake, the CTs are going towards the B site, this should be an easy plan here for the terrorists, and perhaps maybe they can kind of hold them off long enough to get the bomb on, but oh. Cutler smells something fishy. He comes back, sees them just before they go into the site. Should be an easy two kills for Cutler here on this anti-eco round, but they've already lost two men. They've picked up an AK-47. Daps will lose that AK-47 as FNS takes him down, but the bomb will be planted because Cutler was actually shot down. I don't know exactly when that happened. Yeah, by a deagle. Oof. By Fugly, yes, a very important kill. Fugly with a Fugly kill. <laughs> Nitro takes down Hayes as he goes for the retake. This is disastrous here for Mousepass. FNS has to salvage this round. It's a difficult job. He's against two pistols, not a lot of HP on them, but at the same time, he's only on 16 HP. He's going to push through. Ooh. Fugly's going to miss that eagle shot. He makes a fuck of it. He's going to go for the defuse. Oh no, Fugly just lands the shot at the last moment. Almost a defuse for Mousepass, but a beautiful eco win here for Denial to make it 6-4 to four and regain control of the game. But Tarek on a lot of money, 9.25k right now. But that was a bit more close than it was intended to be yep. by the terror side in that two-on-one situation. In case that uh, the first guy dies on that bum side, yep. the after plant, it would be okay. But Fogley going out to try and revenge him, there was really no point since there was such a small time uh, left yeah, before yeah. the bomb was going to explode. But he made the right call because it was uh, uh, an injured defuse, yeah. so he, he, he did make the yeah, right but, call. Yeah, but, but he, he went for a peak before that. Oh, before that. Yeah. Uh -huh, I see, I see. Oh, the push towards this B-bump side. Cutler is going to get the first. He's going to go for the second one. He is. Well, he Misses al him. Almost gets it. Does quite a lot of damage. Tarek finishes off Fugly. It's a three on four with Shazam and Nafli. Barely 50 HP between them. They do have control of the B-site, but the retake should be successful for the CTs unless something miraculous happens for them. Shazam with the AWP. Holding up a B. Should be an easy shot for him. Lands it on JDM. Doesn't make the second, though. It's a three on three. Pretty more manageable for the terrorists. Daps with a frag, Nafly with a frag. Hayes, the remaining CT now, going for it. Flashing himself into the site, but you know exactly where he's coming from. That flash pretty much announced his entry. And I think he should have just thrown it into the smoke rather than through the smoke for it to, to, to flash bang outside. I mean, that's yeah. usually what you see. No matter what, it was an uh, extremely difficult position to be in. Yeah. He, I sure think he killed Sh Sh Shazam, so that's why they knew where he was coming from. Yeah, that as well. Yeah, but Shazam winning once again the AWP battle against JDM. Even when JDM has the advantage of uh, pre-peaking, Shazam just seems to be fast on this map at least. Yeah, it seems like Shazam has the medicine to the ailment, which is JDM. Uh, JDM, he's, you know, done. he's had a lot of frags towards everybody else, but with Shazam, Shazam's always uh, won the one-on-ones.
And Nitro, pretty good at shooting two smokes. And Cutler with the rotation in yeah. a very unlucky timing. Yeah, Colt with his uh, pants down there as he tried to do the rotation at the wrong moment. Hazed on has CZ. Won't be able to take out Fugly and Nitro there on mid to stop the rotation coming in from Karen because, uh, oh, JDM takes down Nathlight. Where's Shazam? Shazam hasn't got an op. He's only got an AK. Where's the nemesis of JDM? Yeah. It's probably going to be Nitro this time around. Hey, Nitro's got the advantage here. Ooh, oh, the spray. he flops down the spray. JDM will be able to get away from him, but they know exactly where he is. Four terrorists hunting him down like dogs, but he gets the frag on dabs. Hurts their economy ever so slightly. He can get more frags. He's going to be will he? from two. Oh, he sees him, but he, he, he doesn't go for the flick shot. Decides to try and back away, and it will be a frag for Nitro. Nitro gets him at the end of the day. Hunts him down for a bit. Eight to four. Denial now four rounds ahead of Mass Bands. Regaining control of the map. Regaining control of this game. And uh, getting the the advantage that, that you'd expect on this relatively T-sided map. Yeah. Eco round coming in from Mouse Bass. And it's looking like Denial is going to get a double-digit T-side. And that is exactly what you look, you're looking to try and get. Yeah. Getting ten rounds would be excellent. They are pushing into connect. There are two seasons ready. For them, JD unable to land any shots as uh, Naf Fly and Nitro will get a frag each now pushing it towards the A site. Ooh, not bad by Hayes, takes down Daps with the P250. Wild card weapon sometimes. Shazam. Oh, take down Hayes. Oh, take down FNS. Make it 9 to 4. Denial on their way, as you said, to get double digits. But there is a full bite coming in from Mouse Baz. Can make it a uh, nine to six round if they win the next two rounds. Nine to six half, sorry. If they win the next two rounds of this half, then I'll have to be on point here. Shazam with the op, full by all the nades they need, the terrorists. And it seems like they've got one terrorist going towards the mid for mid control as the rest are ready for a push towards the B site. Shazam has to be really, really careful here. I don't think he has any idea that FNS is pushing, but FNS is not going to be able to land the headshot back to It's actually a very fast B push here. Molotov forces him to pull out as Dabs will get the shot. JDM, though, actually landing a shot just before he died there. Very nicely done by him. At least he caused some damage. I mean, he was in a horrible position in uh, in that situation, indeed. And Shazam now with a lurker roll. Notices. Oh, was that a 180? That was not a bad shot at all by Shazam. Stopping that flank from the CTs, and uh, now he, he just slowed them down. That frag just made that CT really, really worried. Fugly with a frag on Tarek. Cutler takes down Nitro, but Shazam again. Alakazam. And op uh, magic. again. Some Triple op, kill. Some op magic here from Shazam today. Yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's, he's okay. okay. He's, yeah, yeah. He's okay, you know, he's <laughs> for Shazam, he's, he's all right. Well, the thing is, a lot of Shazam's kill, other than the uh, entry kill on uh, JDM in the first op battle, has been laid on in the rounds, where the CTs has been kind of forced to rotate. Yep. So, but that means he can also thank his teammates for getting a lot of good entry kills and entering the bump sides in a good way. Yeah, he's fetching off the side. Oh, oh Daps! Kills his teammate, but he didn't have a lot of HP. He was pretty badly hit by Tarek, but they are pushing in towards the A site. No fakes from the terrorists. The CTs this time making the right call. Oh, Daps with a second, Daps team, with a second kill. team kill. What are you doing, Daps? You're playing Can for the wrong the team. Can he make it a triple team kill? <laughs> <laughs> Nitro in the uh, chat saying, okay, Daps. How, how, how much was he paid by uh, my mouse pass, do you think? Throw the throw is real. Yeah, absolutely. You can ruthless. blame him if they lose. Okay. I think I think Daps I th Daps just sees everyone as an enemy right now. Yeah. He just wants to kill as many. Uh, <laughs> I think you guys have a mole on your team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Shazam in a one-on-two situation. Yeah, it, it is doable. It is doable. And it's. Uh, I mean, it could have been a four-on-two, a three-on-two situation had Daps not murdered two of his teammates. But oh. uh, fake land. Get the Nicely first. done by Shazam here. It's a one and two, but doesn't land the flick shot there as FNS will get the better of him with the FAMAS. I mean, he was in a difficult position there, but double digits, 10 to five for Denial. They can be happy with that and they can be happy as well, both teams with a 34 headshot counter. We'll have uh, 45 seconds before the second half starts. The teams will have a bit of, um, a, bit of a breather, I think. Yeah. And if we take a look at the score, Pretty equal score here 
on Denial's side. I mean, Shazam was playing well, but I didn't. I thought that he'd have more frags than the rest of his team. And similar amount of frags as well. This is really interesting here. Look at it. 12, 11, 11, 8, 5. But there's a five-round difference. So uh, even the rounds that Denial have won, they've lost quite a lot of their players. There's yeah. not a huge difference when it comes to frags. The only difference really is between, between Cuddler and Depths, which is the bottom frag of each team, yep. which is five kills. And those five kills apparently is five rounds, basically. It's it's it's, it's been a one one player difference then for those five rounds almost you could say. Yeah. That like it, that player had he not died and had he won, or had he gotten that, had he won his one v one or one v two or whatever situation he was in, it might have been a different story. But I mean, denial are in the lead, but not very dominantly in the lead, you can say. Uh, based on the stats and based on uh, how they do. But w I wonder if Mousepads will play a bit more of a... Well, they're going to run into the CZ Kevlar. Nitro got a CZ dropped and he's purchased the Kevlar himself. And he's going to be so important. This pistol round is also very crucial for the Mousepads side. They come right in front of me. He gets the first frag, won't get the second as JDM will get the better of him. But Nafly finishes off the job with a nade and he gets his double kill over on towards the A site. The bomb is unable to push into the site. The CTs have gone for a rotation and now Mouse Paz are in a bit of a predicament towards the A site. JDM and FNS trying to salvage something from this round here. Oh, not badly done by JDM, landing the shots on uh, Dabs and on Nafly and doing a crap load of damage indeed. He gets one frag and almost the second. Puts it on a two on three situation with not a lot of HP, but Shazam says, you know what, mate? You're not going to do anything. There's no way you're going to win this. He actually goes for that cheeky little fake diffuse as well. JDM landing a frag on Nafly. But uh, it will be the Niles round. And uh, they'll increase their lead by 6, making it 11 to 5. Was, uh, was a pretty solid round by JDM with the Glock. Yeah, he did actually quite a lot of damage on this. I two. think it was a triple kill, right? At least two. No, he got two kills, almost okay. the third. Yeah. And we see a Glock save on Haste. I think he might be saving up for uh, for a grenade or, m or two more in the next round. So they might go for some kind of specific execute. They need the bump plan though to get uh, extra no money. No buy. No, because uh, yeah, when they get the bump plan in the first round, they're going to be guaranteed to buy in the third round. But they didn't get the bump plan. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, they did get the yeah, bump plan. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I have uh, short-term memory. Uh, short-term memory. No one is me having. Yeah. Of, I, I just assumed that they didn't get the bomb plan. Yeah, of course. If they, that makes more sense. If they've mm. gotten the bomb plan in the first round, then they know they can fully buy in the third round. So it's not a big problem. But yeah. Tarek actually doing a bit of damage here with that nade, taking down Shazam. It's a one and two situation all of a sudden. He's picked up the FAMAS. It's actually quite possible for him to win this round. But there is a CT coming in from the side here. And he does the clever thing of backing away. But he's a bit too loud. Daps thinks he kind of tried to trick him. But then he goes, well, he's still running. And he can still hear him. Pulls out towards T spawn. Daps hears him. Daps is going to hunt him down and he's going towards the B site frantically. He's just going to try and get that bomb plant on yeah. the B site. And Tevik is going to be thinking that he's smart. But actually, he's just. Uh, I think he got. Uh, he's maybe going to be a bit surprised. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, maybe a little. I think he was like, what? Uh, 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 yeah. Well, how, how did he know <laughs> my genius plan? <laughs> Well, the buy is going to come in, and you see FNS going directly for the Khalil. Even though he had the money for AK armor, and it's because he wanted the smoke flash and HE grenade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's probably going to use that for something specific. JDM going glass cannon here. And Shazam playing with an M4, so mouse bands do have an op. They can go for that mid control, but he's staying relatively deep. Assuming that the CTs are going to go for mid control, which they have not done so far. Denial haven't done that. Shazam's actually staying back quite a bit. He can win this one-on-one, -on -one, JDM, if he goes for the peak. He does have the op, but if uh, if that headshot lands from Shazam, then he'll get dinked and uh, it would be an easy kill. Exactly. The uh, I don't really like that much the uh, the no Kevlar AWP on the T side. Mm. Because you need to attack on the T yeah, side. Exactly. You can't really wait for them to go into a crosshair, so it's a bit more risky. Risky. Yeah. I was nearly saying whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. It's more whiskey. It's more whiskey. More whiskey. <laughs> you, you can never get enough whiskey. Is that a Danish accent saying whiskey instead yeah. of whiskey? Yeah, it is. 
or whiskey? It's called a uh, whiskey. Uh, actually, it's I don't know. No, it's I think I'm even pronouncing it in the wrong way uh, from a Danish perspective. Mate, you can't speak Danish or English. <laughs> can't speak anything. Um, uh, um, you can only speak Counter Strike. Only, only Counter Strike language. New language. That's not gonna bring me uh, a long road with the ladies and the lecture through the smoke by JDM. Not bad. What's Tarek? Uh, sorry, put steps down to 16 HP here. They do have control of the B site. They do have the bomb plant, and as we were talking about Visky, they're able to kind of work their way into the site and get themselves two frags. One on Shazam, the other on Fugly. Now there's going to be a retake, but JDM takes down Nitro here. Two on four. Very tough situation, but Cutler and Tarek don't have a lot of HP. Oh, Cutler though, taking down Nafly before he does any more damage as Mousepads get themselves a sixth round, making it 12 to 6. Denial though, are forced into a predicament with their economy. They would have been better off saving in that round, I think. Then going for that force buy. Well, we're going for that uh, the masses and whatnot. Yeah, like at least going for that retake was kind of silly, because you saw that that the um, Debs guy was being lectured, and they were receiving really good counter flashes from the T side. So the time was ticking away. They needed to clear out a lot of angles. Would have been better off just saving and getting uh, good weapons for this round. And Shazam close up with a Pito 50. It seems that they're gonna walk nearly as a unit, the terrorists here. Two guys trying to go middle to short, and three guys in the mm. underground. And they're actually gonna go straight into the A stack of denial. Yeah, they've done an A stack. Nice to see, you know, teams on an eco round actually going for stacks, because why not? You know, you've got not much, you've not much, you've not got much to lose, and you can try and kind of put the uh, number advantage to your favour. There's only one towards the B site, just in case they go over there. But Nafly is going to pop out from under the ground like a mole, and he does a bit of damage on Tarek, puts it down to 42 HP. But both him, Nitro and Fugly and Shazam will be shot down in quick succession as Daps is uh, the remaining player for the denial side, all the way over towards the B site, as uh, is an easy anti-eco for Mousepads to make it. 12 to 7, but can Daps hurt their economy ever so slightly? Maybe getting a frag or two at the end. Maybe even stealing an AK-47 or an op from his opponent's team. And I think, I don't know what FNS is but doing here, but like he's on his own towards mid. But what do you think about the Foreman A stack not getting a single kill in this situation? Mouse fans are just good with their AKs, I guess. Uh, you know, P250 is great if they're close. Uh, she same was close, for example, you know? Yeah, he's just unable to land his shots. Yeah, but I mean, just one, just one kill and you can, say, you can say, okay, we didn't hit our shots, but zero kills in a four-man stack? I don't know. I don't know. You're right. They should have actually at least gotten one or two kills uh, with a four-man stack uh, at the A side. And maybe their positions weren't too great. Maybe the terrorists were just ready for it. They knew they were going to do that stack. I think they played too much in their bait setup and that crossfires. Yeah. Denial here. Walking into the B bump side. With yet another eco, actually. Yeah. Double eco. Oh, the position here. Oh, that is dirty by Daps. Actually gets one frag, but with those positions, you can get a frag, but not many more after that, as they know exactly where you're on. You cannot move at all. You're stuck. You're like a, just a target for all the uh, terrorists. Tarek taking down Fugly. I'm just looking forward for the next weapon round. We had a lot of uh, kind of shaky rounds. Pharma Spice, Double Eco, kind of not um, worthy of this matchup yeah. rounds, yeah. I think. Hopefully we can see one solid round now from Denial on the CT side. Oh, this is gonna be gold. For Nasty crossfire here. They actually are able to block. And oh lord, Nitro and Shazam will get themselves two frags. He tries to pick up the gun just at the last moment, but a bit too greedy by him. He should have probably just kept his P250 aimed and maybe even gotten yet another frag. But nicely done by them with that little bit of a crossfire to get two frags and 50 headshots so far in this game. As denial now are only four rounds away from mouse pads. They're currently creeping up. Momentum has moved towards the uh, mouse pad side, but that's mostly due to the fact that they've had to play on a double eco. Two easy anti eco wins for mouse pads, but now full buy here from the denial side. Shazam picking up the up. 
He's gonna go out through the smoke. Oh. We talked about this being exposed, and they're not gonna get a revenge kill, and they're not gonna utilize the power of the flashbangs. And he does a great job of just backing away, gets that frag, backs away, yeah. keeps position. Doesn't overextend. Doesn't overextend, doesn't lose that op, doesn't die for no reason. Tr trying to be a hero here, but instead working for the sake of the team, and uh, that's gonna give them the advantage. And it's gonna keep, it's gonna really ruin Mouse Baz's kind of um, plan for this match, uh, or for this map, or for this round, sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> the plan for this round. They went, they were, look, it seemed like they were going towards the B site, but now they're getting ready for a push in towards the A site here. JDM has the op, but he's smoked off. Smoke's disappearing right as we speak. Flash comes in, Shazam, aware of the sound. Will try to go to support. He's at uh, CT spawn. Tarek with the pre-fire. Pushing into the site. Oh, here, yeah, Nitro looking at the wrong direction, and Nafly not there to kind of have his back, but two double, two kills, sorry, three kills here for Nafly. As he does an excellent job defending the site. Will he make it four? 4k for Nafly in towards the uh, A site. And this is exactly why I told you that position is really nasty earlier on. I mean, you can just pop out from different angles and, uh, and, and get shots from above, have that high ground pop up from under. And, you know, if you are landing your headshots, you're going to get a 4k just like Nafly did right there and get the round for denial. Making it 13 date. Now, there are five rounds ahead of Mouse Pass, but only three rounds away from winning this first map. And uh, a map that they chose as well. Yeah, exactly. Exacto. Exactamento. And on this A bomb side, I see two guys moving together. Do is kind of weird. I think they might. I did, mm. they, they were doing something. I think they're, they're just waiting for the other three terrorists to do something. Make but noise towards. Yeah. They, they were in aggressive positions, but they decided to fall back. It's and already now looking at the minimap, you can see it's going to be A split. So the positions here by Nitro and Nafly is some way good, but one smoke on the higher A would simply isolate isolate Nitro, but yeah. it's probably not going to be there since it looks like Mousepass doesn't really have any preset smokes from outside. Well, they've got quite a large amount of uh, nades to use. Yeah, they could do it. That comes down. Great slow the towers for sure. Cutler pushing into the site. Need right there. They know exactly his position, and that double aid will take down Nitro. It's a good position to be in, but if they know you're there, uh, easier position is the nade. Probably now coming in to the bottom. Four and five in towards the A side. Shazam still alive, but only by a thread. He's only got one HP. Still his name. And the bomb is planted. Actually. Yeah, the bomb is planted. Fugly at one frag. Fugly gets a second. What are the terrorists doing? They're looking at the wrong direction. Three frags here for the CTs. Now it's a three on two situation as they push into the site. The retake is real, but JDM misses a shot completely. Cutler, the remaining terrorist, will be shot down by Fugly. Fugly with 4K actually pushing into the site. Absolutely unbelievable play here from Denial with the retake. What were they doing? They were just in the middle of nowhere, sitting in that ditch, looking at God knows what. Their appointments of what to hold in that situation were completely off. It looked like some kind of matchmaking team where they're unable to press K in game and talk about what's going on because the communication there was completely off. Normally, you see these teams on this level just no, having. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I'm going to hold this for you, you're going to hold that, mm. you're going to pre smoke that, you're going to do a counter flash for me, something. But it was completely off. He got so many easy kills in the back. That guy in the pit, grave, whatever you want to call it, kind of panicked. Yeah. And the guy coming from the back of middle also got an easy kill. And suddenly, it was just an easy retake for the CTs. Denial now with a fresh boost of confidence. Holding the B side, the relative ease is Shazam. That bag on hazed FNS. There's a vent all over the place there. Unable to land even one bullet on his uh, fleeing enemy. Mousepad's now running out of ideas. They're going towards the A site. They're going to push. They have two, three flashes, four flashes, and uh, two smokes. Getting ready to throw them. Shazam in mid. The game of patience. He knows he's coming. I think he feels it in the air. He smells the blood. But that sound is uh, going to force him to rotate. But at least remaining in towards the B site, just in case it's a fake. And that's a good choice by them, because the bomb has yet to appear. Oh, what are they doing? They're all going towards the B site. They, they thought too much into it, actually. Shazam, however, back in a way. A pretty 
you know, free form CT side here. And I mean, the terrorist can take advantage of it. But if Shazam's landing shots like that, there's nothing that you can do to push into the side. I mean, what a flick shot. Shazam moving in from connector to land a beautiful shot on Cutler. 15 to 8, and they don't have money. So it should be the map for Denial. And uh, after uh, some quite yeah. hazy uh, parts uh, during it's the... It's been a bit weird. Yeah, it's not been super dominant, but the, we'll score, looking at the, the score, score yeah. seems dominant, yeah, but yeah, Mouse Paz is kind of... Dominant. There's all been cuts up where Mouse Paz win two, three rounds in a row, and Denial are like... They seem like they're completely, you know, out of it. But Fugly has a stack quite in front of him against the first. Oh, doesn't actually land a frag. Does a lot of damage on Tarek, but not enough to get the kill. That's a free M4 for the terrorist side. Smoke off. Jail. Bomb gets planted. Pretty disastrous round here for the CTs. Cutler. Getting that frag on Shazam with the nade. They've still only got one M4. It's three on five, and they don't have a lot of time left, the CTs. They have to go for the retake, but those smokes have definitely delayed it ever so much. And I think Fugly having that advanced position really uh, uh, hurt the, uh, the CT side that round. He gave away a free M4, you know, tried to be a hero, tried to get that, you know, stack, you know, that 4 5k, uh, maybe an ace, and it just did not work out for him. Should it's have it's pretty, position, but. pretty typical when you want to just end the game. You know it's like 15 to 8, and yeah. you know they don't have that, that much money, and you're like, yeah, That's dude, deep. I'm going to get the last kill, so I'm going to do it in style, you yeah. know? Finish this game in style. Finish it with a frag movie. So well, how, how much is uh, the prize money for the winner? 10000 $10,000 for the winner of this best of three. A lot of money for these teams. A lot of money indeed. And the second place is going to get five thousand. Fugly gets one frag, won't get the second as the terrorists are able to push in towards the B site once more. Now the B site is really working out for Mouse Pass. It feels like it's. Um, you always say something, delaying the. Inevitable. Yeah. I kind of feel like it, it might be like that. But then again, it is the T side and, and season, so it's not entirely impossible, but. They look really strong pushing into the B side. Really strong. They're doing everything right. Yeah. They're doing everything right. But just one tiny mistake by some guy, and Nile is gonna get round number six. Number sixteen. The good thing that the CTs have done right now is they've actually hurt the economy ever so slightly. Now quite a bit now getting 4K, um, and so that's kind of that's gonna curb Mouse Spaz's momentum ever so slightly. They do have money for a buy now. It probably would have been actually Fugly for affording a full buy. In fact, sorry, I thought Fugly wouldn't afford a full buy because he only had about 2.3k. But somehow he got armor and, M and an M4. I don't know how that works. But maybe it's Go TV being a bit funky. Oh, that is a nasty little jump from Tarek, but he goes in for the peak regardless. Yeah, that was weird. It's weird. He did a really nice little jump around, yeah. like a, a Cinderella jump, but. Nice trick play, followed up by looking like, I don't know, something which Sitting duck. most likely isn't. Yeah. Because the first move was very nice, good movement, just baiting out the shot from Shazam. But unless he's actually going to be able to go for the crouch peak and have the advantage of waiting for Shazam to enter his aim, mm. he's going to lose 99 out, of, 99 out of 100 times. Yeah, especially if Shazam's uh, landing his shots like he is today. Mouse Baz getting ready for a push in towards the A site. Four and four. Now fly in a pretty advanced position. Oh, Nitro gives away his spot by uh, sticking out his gun. I don't know really why he was looking at that angle. And I think this round is maybe going to be the last one. Even though it's a three and three, okay. I'm wrong. Two entry frags in towards A site. Three on two. Daps and Fugly. They're actually going to go for it. I know their economy. Well, in this kind of situation, they're probably better off going for a save because their economy is not too great the next round, but maybe yeah. they just want to end it. They just need that one lucky punch of getting the, the last kills. It could be in this round. Oh, he checks the further angles first, and he was a bit too advanced, so Kotlo was able to kind of pick him off easily there. 15 to 11. Mouse Baz are creeping back. They're only four rounds away from denial and only five rounds away from actually winning this match, but it should be just one mistake from 
mouse pads that allows denial to win this map. So again, now this score I think is kind of reflecting the um, the reality of this map. It's more of a 15, oh, 16 to 12, 16 to 13 map rather than 16 to 8 which it almost became. Yeah. And uh, it's a bit of a throw as well, because they, it was a force by that had all pistols that round as well. So uh, Do not underestimate it. Never. Never, never ever. ever. Never underestimate your opponents when they've got pistols. We've seen so many rounds, especially final rounds, where it's a match point and the team loses against five s pistols. Yeah. And you, 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 know you, that, you know that Copenhagen Wolves team? Yeah, the Danish that one. Team, that team. There's a guy like called Cadian. Twice leading 15 to 14 against Fnatic. I know. I mean, uh, wait. So who plays them? Cadian. Some uh, dude called Pimp. Yeah. But I heard Cadian is, is he's pretty noob. Yeah, he's. I don't know. He's noob, especially with the AWP and. I mean, on Inferno, he's all right against Fnatic. I mean, he got what a 30 bomb? Did he get a 30 yeah. bomb? 33, I think. 33 bomb. Oh, you know, you know about this player. Pre you're pretty specific about this guy. Yeah. Think. Yeah, I don't know. I just remember history, you know. Not that you're probably the the person as well. No, that's that's impossible, man. Let's not come up with the crazy theories. Yeah, why would what was Kadian doing in Milan anyway? Why well, why would why would he be casting these games? He's a professional player. Doesn't make sense. Shazam and the not flight going for the retake. Shazam smashed in his butt by the force of JDM. And they start to go for the save now because. It's getting it's dangerous. Actually, yeah, it is. It's, it is getting dangerous. Dangerous. After this, Mousepass is only going to be three rounds away from taking this to overtime. So, do you believe that the comeback is real? It's very, very possible if Mousepass continue playing this very, very strong T side. They're doing what they have to do right. They've got that entry frag ability. They're actually really taking. They're really taking them by storm. And. Uh, in that round, specifically, there were 100% headshots. Okay. Something I, 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 I just noticed. <laughs> yeah, you just got like a slap by the studio, like, hey, man, throw out this cool information. Cool stats, bro. Impress them. Impress them with your stats. With your brain. It is kind of impressive, though. I know. I am an impressive individual. Smiling from Katie. It's like, ha, ha, ha. Sure, yeah. bro. It was like, ha, 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 because... Overtime, come on, give it to us, baby. <laughs> Overtime, yes, that would be perfect. More CSGO in the middle of the night for us. Oh, he's looking through the smoke. They've done a big flop with their B-site defense denial. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're holding too, too deep, uh, too aggressive, sorry. Daps made, uh, Fugly made the mistake in the really important round. And now Daps made the same exact same mistake. So there's no crossfire, there's no support with the CTs on the positive let's side. Let's talk about the mind games starting now. It's gonna be fifteen to thirteen. The B bomb side has been completely open oh, in the last rounds. Just how much is all yeah. As a terrorist, do you decide to go for the B push once again? Or are you gonna change it up and go for the A side? And as a CT, do you start to guard the B bump side with one guy more? Or are you still going to go for the default and just hope that they're going to fix the minor problems which is on the B bump side? Mouse bars right now should go straight for the B push. They really should. They're not going to do it, but I think they should have. Because... They're going to expect the CTs to guard that area more. I think perhaps, but I think that it's too risky for the CTs to play like that. Because it's very reactionary. But but they're doing it. And they're doing it. And see, now the CTs have gone for that kind of stack on towards the B site. It's allowed mouse pads to basically have an easier access towards the A site. And because season is such a large map and it's hard for the CTs to rotate, that is a big mistake from the CTs. So, Denial making the wrong call with that B site stack. But, you know, mind games, as you said, it really is mind games. You can't 100% guess what your opponents are going to do. And... And this time, mouse pads are just one step ahead of them. But in fact, the bomb is kind of hovering around T spawn right now. They haven't decided 100% where they're going. To. They're just trying to get entry frags in various parts. But they've got very good map control of the terrorists. They have mid completely. They've got underground. They've got a large part of their pathway towards the B site from T. So they won't get any flanks from the CTs. 
And they're probably just getting ready to execute a nay split. And they can come in from three angles, actually, as they do have one terrorist at mid. Now that Nafly has this frag on Hayes, they can go for the rotation. Good call by them, actually. It could have been disastrous had they stay, had, had the terrorists actually gone towards the B site. But now they know the bomb's at the A site, so there's no harm in going for that rotation. And the bomb's actually under control of Denial. It looks like they're going to put the nail on the coffin here to make it 16 to 13. If Tarek can do something amazing. But he's got CTs all around him. 16 to 13 it is as Denial finally are able to close off that game after having a bit of a rocky uh, few rounds indeed. First map, season, for Denial as we expect. Denial choosing that map. and uh, Yeah, it was a bit more shaky than it could have been. Yeah. But we kind of expected Denial to go through as a winner of this first map simply because of the map pick season. Mm. Mm. Great pick by them. Yeah, it worked maybe, out for them. Yeah, maybe even out videoing the opponents here in this grand final. But I think that Mousepad has actually provided a really strong T side in the in the second half, and yeah. you know th they had some rounds where they were really really solid, solid, solid. I don't know what solid means, but solid pushing into the B side, um, especially when there were only two guys in the B side. And I honestly think that had they gone for the B side, even if there were three three man stack in the B side, they could have won that round. Really, it was it it, it was so successful. It was almost like a hundred percent success rate for the terrorists yeah. pushing into the B side. Uh, they just had that entry frag power, and then they they would smoke off the uh, connect the part going into mid and upper B, and then that's it. CDs can't retake it. Absolutely yeah. impossible. Exactly. They got the entry kill in the uh, 29th round, though, mm. and still managed to lose it. I don't know. They had a guy rushing into B alone yep. to try and do some fake magic wonders, which normally doesn't really work. Miracles. Yeah. Sometimes. Can't um, really rely on them. Well, tell me a time where you have seen a fake work with one guy just rushing into a bump site alone. It's happened, but it's rare. I saw it on Mirage once. I don't know what game it was. I think it was Hellraiser versus Navi in a game yeah, well, show. But this guy has to kill minimum two guys to make it work, and he's going in alone without a lot of cover. Since oh, you mean the guy, guy who's doing the fake yeah, is alone? Yeah. You don't see a lot of that no. because he dies and then it's not fake anymore. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, one guy coming B. B guy dead. The, wait, there's not more. Guys, let's go. And they're going to have even faster rotation <laughs> to the other bomb side. It's like, yeah, yeah, that look on your face is exactly the look they'd have. Yeah. It's Just a, a quick concentration. Yeah. But uh, we'll have a quick short break. Uh, you guys can check out the awesome trailer. And uh, John Wick. Yeah, ladies John and Wick. It's out in cinemas in America. So uh, if you're in America right now, go watch it. Enjoy it. Not, no, not now. Not now. You're going to watch some Counter Strike now. After. What? What's that? Murika. What's that? Oh, Murika. Oh, you have to say it like in English, not in... No, Murika. Murika. Was, is, that, is that the Danish version? No, no, no. Short break. Uh, I'll Murika. give him a quick...